Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is a fine Thursday morning and I am bringing you through a look into my day. It's super, super cold out. It's like three degrees here in Minnesota. So I did go on a little morning walk. I'm trying to just get into it because this is just the beginning of winter. Obviously it's only mid-December. So this is going to be how the next three, four, five months will be, but it'll be okay. So powering through it, but I'm bringing you through a little cozy day in my life. I have a lot of work to do today. I have my candle burning. I have my Christmas tree lights on, coffee of course, and I'm just gonna be getting down to work. I'm going to share as much detail as I can as I go through my work that I do throughout the day and just give you a glimpse of what it looks like to be a freelance graphic designer. I find this content really fun to do, so if you like this type of video, please feel free to subscribe down below. I would love to have you here. Looking into my notes app, where I list all my to-dos per the daily, and then also on my calendar app where I have everything time blocked, I am going to be working on going through some emails prep and working on that. I also have a video that's going live today. It's a few days in my life so if you haven't seen that one yet go check it out that one was really fun to share so i need to finalize that today i need to do some website design edits for the contract work i do for a client i have a meeting for um another business i work with for their social media content calendars and i just have a lot of client work to also get done just Things like pulling monthly analytics, weekly analytics, designing templates, and things like that. I started this morning off with a really nice breakfast. I've been having just toast, turkey, bacon, apple, and it's been a great way to start my day. So I had just started that and started going through mostly social media, which has been kind of a love-hate. I feel like Instagram has been a place of anxiety for me lately it's just a lot to think about and plan about and there's so many people and just so much attention and the numbers can really get in your head so i started my morning looking on there but i feel like that was not a great move on my end so i need to switch and really dive into my emails and make sure everything is good and lined up for the day let's get into that and i will check in in a little bit Checking my email in the morning is usually something that doesn't take me too long. I usually am starting my day before my clients are up, so I don't have too much communication to do at this time, but it is always just nice to be able to get my head down and work and get more designs done. One aspect that I continue to work on is leaning into what I feel like doing for that day or doing during this time. So right now, I'm just feeling super excited about finishing the edits on this video, just sweeping through it one more time, making sure I can export it and just get it uploaded. A lot of times I feel like I've been kind of rushing that process and so it's nice to have it already done and I can just do a final walkthrough to get it uploaded. So although my calendar is time blocked right now for me to be working on contract work, I'm gonna just switch it up and move up my video editing time to now and get this finalized and then I'll do my contract work later which will also be really fun because we'll dive into some website edits. But let's get this wrapped up so I can have it all buttoned, good to go, and something that you can watch. All of my video editing is done in Adobe Premiere. It's super convenient because I'm used to using the Adobe programs when it comes to graphic design so it's just my preferred platform. I have been really liking it and it makes me be able to create these edits pretty quick and get the video exported and up to YouTube. This video is all good to go. It's exporting right now and so I'm just hopping over and starting on my contract work and what I'm focusing on today or one of my main focuses is on this website. It's through Squarespace and we've been working on this for a while now. Basically, we just received all of the photos from this client's photo shoot, so I'm going to go ahead and implement them throughout the website. I already started implementing them, but I think they can be revised some more and the pages edited as well throughout. So we'll see what I can get done in that capacity. 
This client is a wellness service provider, so we are just creating a website that really speaks to our clientele and is something that is calming, easy to use, and just basically allows her clients to be able to book an appointment with her and also for new clients to understand what her services are. It's been super fun to work on because there's been a ton of creative freedom here. She's been super wonderful to work with, very kind individual, and so it's been really great to work on this project and inserts all of these new photos. I'm loving all of the work that the photographer did on this end and it's just wonderful to be able to have really amazing photos to work with. I can't wait for this website to be completely wrapped up and done and to see how it looks. I would love it if we keep working with this client because it would be so fun to do her newsletters and her social media campaigns and basically any of her marketing needs that she would need moving forward. So we will see as time goes on how that turns out. Hey, I'm jumping on my call now. After my planning call, I just had a few edits to go in and make for that same business. So this one we actually use Microsoft Teams for. It's what is already set up and so it's super convenient to have all the social plans set up on this platform. I'm just going in and cross-checking that the social plan is all lined up on the slideshow and then it's also matching with the spreadsheet. This way we're able to plan weeks in advance and also see the visuals of the aspects as well. A lot has to change kind of by week just as things move around and new things come in, but that's okay. It's always great to have more content to share. And so I'm just making sure everything is reflected and the correct things are being shown on the plan moving forward. Next, I'm jumping into a different client to work on her analytics. I pull weekly analytics for her each week, of course. This way we're able to track her different social platforms, see where her content is going, how it's doing, what's improving, what might need to be to be changed and what has been posted for the content calendar. So this is something that I'm continuing to do and then at a monthly level we look at the visuals and what has done as a whole and how the takeaways can be used moving forward. This is all set up through Google and a spreadsheet and it's been really nice so far to work in as well. I end up using my phone a lot to cross check what the analytics are doing and what things are looking like on the content she's posting. And so I constantly pulling it out and using it to grab those analytics from. Once I'm done with that time block, I'm moving forward into finalizing my YouTube video. And there's just a couple things I have to do. I just have to get it uploaded onto the platform. I have to finalize my thumbnail, which I always do in Adobe Illustrator. And I usually make some edits in Lightroom as well. And then I'm able to go ahead and post it. So this just takes a minute to do, well, usually a few minutes to do, but it's perfectly fine. And it's always really great to get this up. I usually wait to do this at the very end, but sometimes I think that maybe I should do it towards the beginning. Okay, it is now about two o'clock. Days flying by, I always say that. But I had an unexpected client inquiry come about. I created some holiday designs for one of my clients and the sizing was a little messed up from when he printed them. Just a little miscommunication there with what the envelopes would be. So I had to make some edits there and do some communication. So that kind of, Threw off my day a little bit because I was not planning for that, but we're back into the sync of things. I just got my video uploaded and posted, so that was fun to create the thumbnail and have it go live. And I am going to jump into some client work now. I have this one client that I created her graphic design templates for her, which I shared some of it actually in my last video, but basically I need to 
make these illustrator files to become InDesign files for her. So I want to work on that for her. I also have an edit to her WordPress website that I want to add as well. So I'm going to do that and I will work on this for a little bit and probably jump back to that other website I was working on in a little bit too. The client will be using these different graphic templates across her like to know it page, her Instagram, and maybe her website, really just wherever she sees fit for these. It's a tool she can use to leverage products that she recommends to her audience and things that she is purchasing for her home. So we want them to be beautiful but minimal and be able to be easily used in a drag and drop way. So this is going to be really fun to see her begin to post and utilize across her platform and just to have a little more elegant look to them. I had a lot of fun working on these and it's something we'll probably continue to adjust and make edits to as we move forward. This is something that I might actually end up editing for her moving forward as she has different content to post per the day or per the week or per the month. So we'll see as the seasons go on. I originally designed these elements in Adobe Illustrator because that is just my preferred go-to platform. It has so many capabilities and you're able to really create any of these unique shapes and be able to make adjustments a little bit easier, I think, than in InDesign. But I also think InDesign is a great place for a template to be. Next, I'm jumping over to her WordPress site. We're working on getting this up to launch in the new year. And I am just editing these different blog pages that will be to provide a place to view different rooms in her home and see what products are in there and how it is styled. So I'm going through and making sure that her powder room is added to the site with all of her beautiful images she has on her current website and then adding all of the source information and any important links or images there. I've been really enjoying working in WordPress. It's been a lot of fun to just kind of dive in and zone out and just get the content up and loaded. Once you know what you're doing in there, I feel like it's super easy, but it's a little bit of a learning curve at the beginning, especially when you're diving into a website that is originally developed and set up by someone else. So you just have to figure out how everything is working. I like to go in and do one more final sweep of the content page before posting, and then it's always good to preview and check it live. This website will be coming available sometime in the new year, which will be really great to see, and I will definitely be sharing more about it as time goes on. earlier that I had a couple edits from a holiday design card that I had to make and here is me just doing a few more edits on this. We realized that he needed a completely different sizing that was sent over again and so I'm making those adjustments so he can get this file printed as quickly as possible so it can get sent out the door to all of his customers and they can have a little season's greeting to them for the season. So I'm just making these final edits and then he'll be on his way and good to go and we can wrap up the day. It's a little bit later, it's a little after four, so I'm going to go and head and run some errands. I wanna do it before the sun completely sets, which the sun will be continuing to go down for the next hour. So I'm gonna go run some errands, go to the gym, and do some work later. But I feel 
pretty good about today. I just finished up stuff that was on the couch and there's just always more to do. So I would like to do at least one more hour later. I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you're interested in seeing other content like this, like it, and I will see you soon.